Best Book of a Musical goes to Jonathan Larson for Rent. Accepting the award for the late Jonathan Larson, who died five months ago at the age of 35, is his sister, Julie. Rent. Music and lyrics, Jonathan Larson. And the 50th anniversary Tony Award for Best New Musical goes to Rent. Hi it alls, welcome back, and if you are new, hello, my name is Jessie, and today we are going to react to the official trailer for Tick, Tick, Boom. I don't even know where to start. Do we start with Lin-Manuel Miranda, or do we start with Jonathan Larson? If you have not noticed, I am a very big Rent fan. The break 24-year-old Adina Menzel has been praying for. Very big. And this is one of my most prized possessions. It is a playbill signed by the 2007 cast of Rent. It was the first time that I had ever seen the play, and it wasn't on my last. I saw it about four more times after that. I love Rent. The need to express, to communicate. The music, the lyrics, the message, the characters, everything about it was incredible. So I wanted to dive a little more into it and learn about who created this and what it was all about. And it led me to Jonathan Larson. Now Jonathan Larson created an autobiographical musical entitled Tick, Tick, Boom. And it was a solo project that he performed in the 90s. So it derived from Jonathan Larson's autobiographical musical Tick, tick, boom. Very, very sadly, Jonathan Larson died the night before Rent was performed its first night off Broadway. This musical was set to open for the first time in front of an audience at this small downtown theater. The 35 year old composer collapsed at home. He died of an aortic aneurysm. So it's very. The whole story is just very interesting. It's very intriguing. It's very emotional. It's very sad because it was a sudden death, too. It was unexpected. The set of Rent is his apartment. You know, the characters in Rent were his life. And they're all bits and pieces of all of us there. It's amazing how you can have this person, his story, and his child, if you will, turn into something like Rent and have it be one of the biggest musicals and plays of all time. And he died the night before the first ever performance. He didn't get to see everything that it turned into and that it created. We can try to be spiritual and say he's with us now and he sees it. And we believe that to some degree, but he worked so hard for it. So when I had heard that Lin-Manuel Miranda was doing this, I flipped out. I was so, so excited because Lin-Manuel Miranda is already responsible for so many projects that I have loved in so many different ways. In the Heights and Hamilton, those are his musical Broadway babies. He composed for Moana, which is one of my newer, most favorite Disney animations that has come out lately. He was even in episodes of Curb Your Enthusiasm. And he's hysterical. He's an, an actor in Mary Poppins. And he is just so crazy creative and so talented in everything he does and this is his directorial debut and it's gonna be on Netflix and I have Netflix so I, I'm just it's checking all the boxes for me it's checking every single box I also love Andrew Garfield I think he's a very underrated actor but he's a very brilliant and talented actor so I love that he is him I think it's I think it's gonna be a perfect fit I want to jump in. I am super, super excited to watch this trailer. But before we do, don't forget to throw a like up or dislike if you do or do not like what you see. But comment down below and let me know why. Subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. It's five dollars a month. That's a dollar twenty-five a week. It has all of my unedited reactions of everything that I do on YouTube in addition to more. So go check it out. But without further ado, this is the official trailer reaction for Tick, Tick, Boom. Tick, 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 Boom. This is the life of Bo 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 Bo. This is the life of Bo 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 Bo. This is the life of Bo 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 Bo. Lately, I've been hearing this sound. 
like a tick, 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 tick. Like a time bomb. Check. Hey, boy genius. The fuse That's has been lit. That. She was in this. That's great. The clock counts down the seconds. That sounds great. Do you know how many Jonathan Larsons there are? One. The flame gets closer and closer and closer until all at once everything explodes. How much time do we have to do something great? I am so excited <laughs> to see this movie. I am choked up just watching the trailer, but again, it's the attachment that I have to it, how much I love Rent, how much I am just so excited to see his story play out because you can see in the movie, I feel they're trying to show how he sees the world through a different set of eyes, if you will. He doesn't just see himself on a subway. He sees himself in a musical number with actresses and performers behind him. And he's swimming in this pool and he sees musical notes. And there's... um. There was an episode of Top Chef, and I know you're probably thinking, like, what had, what does that have to do with this? Bastianich, I think is how you say it. Joe is on Top Chef, and he was explaining in one episode how when he tastes wine, he sees colors. He feels a certain way. He actually feels and sees vibrant waves and motions and he's like it's hard to explain that to someone who doesn't feel that or see that when they take a sip of wine but for me it's such a more intimate in-depth experience I take a sip of wine I see colors and I feel like that's what they're trying to portray in this trailer he just sees the world differently he hears sounds differently when they're in the diner and it's chop 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 with the spatula and check please check please check the rhythm and the motion of how everything flows together he hears music and he it's just I am so excited and so glad that of all of his directorial debut projects that he could have chosen, he's choosing Jonathan Larson's story to be his first one. So again, it's just two amazing things that I love so much coming together in one blissfully glorious project that it, hopefully it's going to be amazing. It looks incredible. It gave me just enough and kept me wanting to know more like when the heck is it coming out because i need to see it now thank you jonathan larson Viva Viva la la vie vie la vie. interesting that the first thing that they said the first thing that they started with is this is the life of bobo bo bo bohemia because tick tick boom and ren is loosely based off of giacomo puccini i believe it's pronounced opera La Boheme, which is also why we have the La Vie Boheme song and Ren. Everything's connected. Everything. It's just inspired by all of that. So it's it's cool. It's so cool to see little pieces of that shine through. And I'm just oh, I'm so excited. I had absolutely no idea about the rest of the cast. We have Vanessa Hudgens, who looks phenomenal. I knew I knew the other girl. Alexandra Ship. She's in Love, Simon. She's Abby in Love, Simon. I just, they're, uh, everybody looks like they have so much chemistry. The shots were beautiful. The music I'm excited to hear. I'm just, I cannot wait. I, I'm definitely, definitely excited to see this. Everyone throw a like up or a dislike if you do or do not like what you see, but comment down below and let me know why I subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring, ring, ring that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. It is $5 a month. That's $1.25 a week. It has all my unedited reactions of everything that I do on YouTube in addition to more, so go check it out. And now I feel like I need to watch Ren. Right? Yeah. 
so long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye. All those who are out there still working in restaurants or driving taxis or doing whatever they have to to scrape by for their art, stay true to yourselves and to your dreams and know they can come true. This is for you. Thank you.